We are so pleased to announce our new product and we are anxious to show you all its new features today. So keep watching! Live Event Blaster will help you start YouTube Live Events from your personal video files. This is a huge time saver and money maker. You're not going to need a webcam or anything like that. All you will have to do is simply create a video file and start streaming it on YouTube. Now, the first thing you need to do is add a new account. To add a new account, click on Add Account button. Here, a new pop-up will appear. You will need to open your browser and navigate to this link. Or you can simply click on Click here. The browser window will open and you will need to select the account you will want to use in Live Event Blaster. You are going to click Allow and you need to copy this code. You can right click and click on Copy and paste it here in Step 3 in Live Event Blaster. All you have to do now is click on Add My Account. Now, before you begin streaming, you need to add a new item. As you can see, I already have two items in my list, but let's add another one. So, click on Add New Item, and we now need to fill in all the details here. Now, let's say you want to promote a product. In this case, I'm going to go with the Microsoft Surface Pro. You enter the event title. It's very important to use the keyword that you are targeting as much as possible. For example, in the description, we recommend using it at least three or four times. We entered the description for our event and now we need to fill in the tags. Again, in the tags, if you have a very long keyword, we recommend splitting it. So, in this case, we can go with Surface, Surface Pro. The tags are very important to rank on YouTube, so pay attention to them and try to enter your main keyword as often as possible in different combinations. Now we can enter a keyword. This keyword will be used by Live Event Blaster to trace the rank on YouTube. What it will do, it will search on YouTube with your given keyword and tell you if your live event is ranking or not on that specific keyword. Now we select a schedule date. This is the date when the live event will start. Yeah, it's that easy. You can actually tell Live Blaster to start a live event, for example, in two days. The only thing you need to do is make sure that Live Event Blaster is running. Okay, so I'm going to schedule it. And now we need to select the thumbnail file and the video file. The thumbnail will be the image that will appear on YouTube. Click on Browse and select the file you want to use. And now we select the video file. This is the video file that will be streamed when we start the stream. And all you have to do now is click on Add New Item and that's it. The item is in your list. Now, as you can see in the posted column, there is a yellow X. This means that the events are not posted on YouTube yet. So what we need to do now is click on Update and check the option Upload Unpublished Items and click Start. Alright, so as you can see, we published our first item. Of course, if you want, you can publish all items at once. Simply select them all and click on Update. But in this case, I only published the first item. Now, if we enlarge the date column, we will see that the stream will start at about 3.25 p.m. That's about in one hour. If you want to start the stream right now, simply click on the item, right-click and start live streaming. A window will open and we will need to wait until the streaming starts. It can take up to one minute before the stream starts. So just be patient. So just be patient and wait until the stream starts. I really hope you found this video useful. Thanks a lot for watching.